Hello everyone, Sigler here, Fork, Chef, you can call me whatever you'd like. Today I'm going to show you a Affliction Warlock build that I'm actually using quite a lot on Season of Discovery. So, um, with this build I'm running with uh, Metamorphosis because the combo of playing Affliction and using the Metamorphosis farm is insane. Like the self-sufficient and like the health reg on it, it's it's just simply broken. Like you, you, as you can see in the background, I did this farm for about like, well, like not farm actually because I'm just testing this out at like in this video. But I did this uh, for like over an hour just to test it out and stuff like that. And like the results are amazing and. Keep in mind, I'm not good geared at all. I don't have a single piece from Gnome Rigon or anything. I think I have like two pieces from uh, like RFD, but nothing else. So I'm pretty much like PFD geared. So it's not nothing special. And I'm missing a lot of the key runes also, which would make this even better. So I'm just gonna keep this on in the background. I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller and do like this. Gonna put this over here so we can see it in the background. Gonna do like this so we can see it a little bit better. So let's discuss about the talent build that I was running with. So um, this is the way that I'm running with. It might not be the best one, and if you have any suggestions on like how I could do this instead, write it down in the comments below and I'll consider every kind of change. Remember, like I'm not a pro or anything, like I don't have that much deep of a knowledge uh, of this particular class in Classic, but I feel like I have a, a pretty okay understanding of the spec. So here we go. For starters, um, we have improved corruption, and it's pretty much a given because we want uh, we're just constantly dotting everything. So, we, and we don't want to cast at all because, we, like, we can tank up to five people, five mobs at the same time, no problem. So we start with that. After that, we go to improved life tap, obviously because uh, in this build. The dots costs a lot and while using the life tap while you are in metamorphosis with the metamorphosis um let me show you a real quick it says over which one is it it's the gloves right yeah here um as you can see if we read on it uh increased mana gained from life tap by 100 percent and with this it's 20 percent more of that so that's very good. So that's an obvious take. After that, we go to improved drain life because drain life combo with another rune that I'm, we're gonna, uh, I actually can show you instantly and discuss why. And that's the master channel rune, which makes it so your drain life has no longer a channel. Uh, channel. It lasts for 15 seconds, have a six, 15 seconds cooldown. And it costs 100% more mana and heals you for 50% more each time it deals damage. So with this, we're draining 10% more out of that. So yes, it, we're just getting 10% more mana uh, health, which is awesome, which we need. And also over here, uh, after that, we go to Amplify Curse, uh, which is, has a three minute cooldown. And I'm gonna show you a small little trick that I've done so let's close it up again let's do the same with this one make it a little bit smaller and we're gonna show you a macro that i have on it which is this one um if you can see it i can just do it like this i guess there we go so curse of agony is uh, what i called it so it uses a slash cast uh, macro on amplifying curse so and after that, it's uh, just the Curse of Agony. And by not typing the rank on the Curse of Agony, we're gonna cast the highest one that we know, 
which we want to do. And use, while you by using this macro, you will automatically, once the amplifying curves is off cooldown, it will use it. So by having this one, when you're farming, you don't have to keep track of the amplifying curse. It just automatically gets used and the the target that you use the next corruption a uh, curse of agony on i mean will get the the buff from it so that's that's quite nice and let's go back over here there we go and it's gonna make it so the next curse of agony is a 50 percent more damage and that's quite a lot and it helps you in the long run so yeah we use amplifying curse after that we go with the improved curse of agony which increases the curse of agony by six percent which is a good combo with this one because we're gonna have every single curse up that we know of on the targets so that's a pretty nice buff to have because the remember the curse of agony ramps up in damage so the last tick is going to be high be the highest tick be the highest tick and six percent is quite a lot at the end and after that we go with grim reach just because we can uh, dot them up from 20 percent further away with our affliction spells so that's very nice after that we we don't actually use the nightfall because we are in we are in metamorphosis form with this build that i have if you don't have metamorphosis build you could run with this i personally don't think i would use it really um but yeah that that's just me but for this build we're not using it and uh, proof mana drain mana i don't even i haven't even learned drain mana because i would never i'm never using it um so since i'm never pvping and so after the Grim Reach, I'm going up to Suppression again. Just enough points to get to Siphon Life. After that, we go to Curse of Exhaustion. I'm going to explain another talent you can pick also that I figured out that you can use. But for the sake of this video that we have... Uh, let me increase it again. For the sake of this video that we have up here, this is the one that I have. I didn't use it, but this is the one that I have for the build. So we go the Curse of Exhaustion. Then we go back up to Suppression. And put 5 out, out of 5 into it. Just we unlock Shadow Mastery. So we go 5 into Shadow Mastery. Because with this suppre uh, Suppression, we have a 10% less chance of uh, the enemies to resist our Affliction Spells. And we are only using Affliction Spells. Pretty much so that's just nice and then we go with the shadow mastery which increases the damage dealt or life drained by your shadow spells by 10 percent and remember this we have the drain life on so that's a 20 percent more life drain from the siphon life because siphon life is a leech which makes it so we every time it ticks pretty much well every three seconds for 30 seconds it will heal us which is nice and with the the drain life uh, the, uh, or life drained by your shadow spells by 10% this one is gonna drain even more and also every pretty much every single spell that we use is affliction which is shadow spells which will increase by 10% more damage and also the drain life by your shadow spells by 10% is also in the Master Chandler. So we are draining so much life and gaining so much health that we can confidently, confidently uh, use life tap a lot, um, which we are actually using quite a lot. Just, uh, just keep in mind, um, and wait, uh, the last one is Dark Pact. And I'm gonna explain another build pretty soon. But just keep in mind with this build, if you're farming uh, like mobs that is around your level or higher, it will have a chance to like resist or miss. And if that happens, 
keep that in mind because you might actually bump down in your health and you can actually die i have died because it has been resisted and here it has been like five or six mobs on me and the siphon life hasn't really been able to keep me alive so by that time i would highly recommend to use like a flask like a potion healing potion or something just until it's like off cooldown so yeah that's like the build that you that i'm using in the video you could change two things and this might not be optimal but you could remove dark pact because dark pact in my opinion is like not giving us that much mana um, if you don't have metamorphosis this one would probably be better for you but since i have metamorphosis it gives me way more mana uh, than the dark pact and in the video i'm actually not even using dark pact at all so i would actually change the dark pact put it and also remove the curse of exhaustion and put both of them into the improved drain soul you and the reason is it says like this gives you a hundred percent chance to get to get a hundred percent increased uh, increase to your mana regeneration for 10 seconds if the target is killed by you while you are uh, while you drain its soul in addition your mana may continue to regenerate while casting at 50 percent of normal so the reason why this could be nice is that um with this build when you're farming um if if like a target for like in this video for example let's say a Mur murloc is about to die and is like running away from you out of fear you could one uh, right before it's about to die you could drain soul it and get a killing blow on it while you have the drain soul you will get a buff that will uh, like give you a lot of mana back so you don't have to life tap but the negative thing with this is that you will fill up your soul shards in your bags very fast I know that there's like macros and stuff like that where you can like when you press it you will like remove some of them but I, I haven't found it yet but there is like those out there or like there's probably like a weak aura that you could set up uh, to be like okay I want to keep only three soul shards and if I get a new one it gets deleted but I'm not sure if there is but they might be so keep that in mind but for this video i was running like this so runes chest obviously we're gonna go with master chandler there is not really much of a choice here because the drained soul is like why would we stand still and channel when we can have it like no longer channeled and it like automatically because this is technically a dot also it's like a huge dot this is our like lifesaver because without this i don't think we would be able to do this farm actually because i think that we would well this kind of way to play or farm if you're going to use this build so the master chandler is an obvious pick other than that we're gonna go with the hands and for this build we're using metamorphosis but if you don't have it uh, i'm pretty confident that you would be able to do this maybe not at the same pace but you will be able to do similar ones like the aoe farms and in that case i would use haunt because haunt will give you like 20 percent of your health when it's get casted so that's like a 20 percent heal every how long is cooldown well I, I i think it's like 15 seconds or something or like 12 so it's quite quite nice but for the sake of this one i was using metamorphosis but if you don't have it you can use haunt because the shadow bolt bully isn't like we're never using it and chaos bolt we're never casting so it's either or but for the sake of this video we have metamorphosis then with the waste in the video i have a shadow and flame and the reason is because i haven't unlocked the other ones really um i get this proc from time to time 
whenever like I there is like a murloc in the video that is like running away from me and I want to make sure that I kill it without because I don't want for example I don't want uh, it to pull something new so and if I use my instant searing pain and I get a crit I will get this one but I think that the Grimor uh, Grimor Grimor of Synergy is probably like the best one and it says recite of a dark tome grant uh, granting damage uh, done by your done by you or your summoned pet uh, to have a 5% chance to increase the damage done by the other by 25% so that's like very nice to have like 25% uh, damage increase pretty much so that's very nice if you if you have it unlocked you could also use it with the invoca uh, invocation if you are like keeping tracks of how long it is the like um, the dots are up because when we are playing like this when we are in metamorphosis we have shadow cleave and if we are going to let's see here if we have the legs for example we have the everlasting affliction whenever we are using shadow cleave we will refresh our corruption so if we time the shadow cleave when uh, the corruption is about to go off cooldown you can get a free like instant damage equal to the remaining that uh, periodic damage so basically it's like if six second seconds left you will get like it it will be instantly uh, it will pretty much like the, those six percent of damage will get will happen instantly and also because we have the everlasting affliction it will get refreshed also so that's like very nice combo so like if the evocation will proc make the six percent damage that is less uh, left and then it will refresh it also because of everlasting affliction which is very cool but for the sake of this video i, I haven't unlocked it yet i've been very lazy i'm very busy with work so i haven't unlocked pretty much anything but we have the shadow and flame but if it would were me i would probably try the evocation and try to play around it because as you can see in the video above i have like very big nameplates and i have the 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 second things uh, like how how long the dots have left so I could keep try to like keeping keep track of it but the grimoire and uh, grimoire of synergy is probably the easiest one because it just automatically happen you don't have to care about it it just procs but yeah and on the feet same thing there I have dance of the wicked because I haven't unlocked anything else but the demonic knowledge is like way superior because of the damage because the scaling of shadow flame is just garbage to my understanding because it scales so badly and it doesn't deal like it sounds good on paper that it's like oh but that's just another dot yeah but it doesn't deal that much damage compared to if you would have increase increases your spell damage and healing by like remember and healing by a value of equal to 10 percent of your demons pets total stamina plus intellect so if you have a very good pet like a like a tanky one let's say the probably the fell hunter if you have it but like it will increase our both damage and the healing by 10 percent so yeah I, I would use i would pick this one if I had it but I haven't unlocked it yet but I'm gonna work on it so yeah that's pretty much like the build um, yeah it became like a 20 minute video but I hope that you understand that this like a deep dive if we can call it that so yeah that's the build and uh, like comment subscribe if you feel like there's something that I missed or if you have a better version of this Type it in the comments below and I hope to see you in the future in the next video. Fork fork.